people. Look at that. No, the view is definitely worth it, trust. Good people, welcome to the vlog. Right now, what we've done is get up early, just try and wake up early just so we can see the sunrise on Brooklyn Bridge. So now we're about to walk it right now. Do you know how long it takes to walk the actual bridge? Well, we'll, we'll soon find out. Yesterday, we burnt off like almost 25,000 steps. Actually, no, I did, I burnt 27,000 steps compared to my normal daily life of doing 3,000. I'm looking forward to actually crossing the bridge, seeing the views, being like a super, super tourist. And then I'm gonna get my dollar slice pizza because in the last video, I didn't manage to get it, and I'm getting it today. I see a chicken now, I just want to get up there. Oh! Now I'm going to do it. <laughs> I hope this looks as dope as it actually looks on here. Purely because, I ain't gonna lie, this is frightening. Leaning on this bridge, and I can see cars down there. All it takes is one little drop. Jesus, but I feel like Spider-Man. Oh yes, if I was wearing the suit now, that'd be dope. But yeah man, the suit game's pretty sick. Hey, make sure to drop the camera. So this was the view I'm seeing. As you can see, that's a nice little fall. And then a hit with the car. But yeah, let's get to that actual bridge. And there's sunset people. Alright people, we're still on Brooklyn Bridge. We've been here probably for about 50 minutes, taking various pictures. It looks so, so good here. Like, the, just the views and everything's dope. And you can see, and we're not the only people, literally there's hundreds of people walking by every second taking photos. A lot of them in proper camera equipment, whereas I'm just here with a little vlog camera. But still, I'm happy man. I can't wait to look through some of this footage to share it with you guys as well. Hopefully it looks as dope as it actually does in real life. But yeah man, I can't wait to carry on with the day. I'm probably going to eat more food. Bridge was dope, but it was super, super freezing cold. So I'm doing stopping off in Starbucks to get like I'm gonna get hot chocolate and also probably gonna get a little bit of food. So I'm probably gonna try one of their sausage egg things. So today's video might be another one of a kind of a full day video, but it will be a vlog. I'm gonna show you most of these gonna eat today as well. People are here from hot chocolate, and I've also got what was it? sausage, egg, and cheese. Korean Arctic for the turkey version. She wanted to outdo me and be healthier. How's it taste? You know, I've never even had this at home. Yeah, I'm gonna try and branch out and eat more stuff. Are you tiny though? Oh, I've cut my lip. You only hit right there. That's why I've cut my lip. The hair's not off my mouth. Vlog mode activated today. Yesterday's or the last video kind of was like more like abrupt and short. Today was gonna be a super long, showing you everything I'm eating, everything I'm doing. It was like a super super long vlog as well, just so I can have more memories because yesterday's was a, bit, was a lot bit more just sparse. Alright people, right now, correct me if I'm wrong, we are in Lower Manhattan. So what we're going to do right now is go to Chinatown to see what it's like. Probably go to Canal Street, that's where your favourite rapper gets all this jewellery. So we'll probably go around there to kind of see like something different. Alright, for those of you who don't know, that is the memorial for the 9-11. So obviously around the edge has everybody's name that passed away. Um, and obviously it's got like a nice little fountain thing I've kind of done now is kind of memorise them. Right people, I'm getting a little bit hungry so what I'm going to do is probably get a pretzel to like, hold us over till we get to like Chinatown till I get something else to eat. So I'm just going to go to any random store and get one. Hopefully it's going to cost more than a dollar. 
Alright, let's try this out, people. Yeah, it's so. Tastes good though, it's soft. It's big though. I like it. I'm a New Yorker now. Oh, yeah, by the way, for those of you that don't know why I'm actually in New York, it's literally because I'm here to replace Tariq on power. So that's my audition. Everyone hates Tariq on the show power. 50 Cent flew me out and said, Yo, can you fill him? And I was like, Why not? Big facts. Alright, peeps, so now we've reached to Chinatown. So now we're just gonna explore through, compare it to Birmingham's Chinatown. <laughs> this one already sounds more authentic because I see it here, nothing but Chinese. Whereas in Birmingham, you still hear <laughs> English people, yeah. We had to be legit, so we're gonna go to a halal truck to get some food, and then we're gonna walk up Canal Street, turn off on Broadway, and go to Soho. I wanna try and find my little brother a birthday gift. If not, I found a really nice hoodie. I wanna get him in Harlem anyway. But I wanna see if there's like, they have it here, so I have to go all the way back to central Harlem to get it. But overall, I'm getting pretty peckish now. That food smells so good. So what are you giving it? Seven. Oh, FedEx! Yeah, I'm gonna give it eight. I think it's all right. Shouts out to Boss Man. I don't know what you call him here, but we call him Boss Man in the UK. <coughs> the spice starting to get it back in my throat now. But yeah, man, I'm giving it a good solid eight. Alright, people, we finished it off right now. The deeper we got into it, the harder it got. My nose is starting to run. And also, it's really good. I'm going to go by eight. I may even stretch for 8.5 I like the spice of it. Like initially it was like just really flavoursome. The more you ate into it, the spice was good and it wasn't like hot hot where it's just like there's no real like flavour to it. It's just like super burns your mouth. But it was really nice and it even got me to eat a lot more veg. I don't even eat tomatoes and shit like that. So that was mixed in there, I liked it. So yeah man, shout out to guy, my guy man. Uh, the thing is that there's so many of these falafel places everywhere. I'm not sure if I go to another one when it tastes just as good as this one. That's the thing. Uh, I know for a fact I'm not gonna go to anywhere super touristy and get one. I think that's what's gonna be the shittest. But, uh, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna try and get another one before I leave tomorrow. Right, people, right now we've got some of Joe's Pizza. Too many subscribers hit me up on Instagram saying I have to try it. By the way, this is not a dollar pizza I know of. I've been looking for this is $3. I will find my budget pizza eventually, but. It's all right. I'm gonna say it's a great pizza ever, personally. It tastes like a good pizza, but it tastes nice. The sauce and cheese tastes very good. The actual base. You know me, I like deep skin pizza. Deep skin. I like uh, deep dish pizzas. So probably Chicago towns where I probably would care the most, but in terms of flavor, it tastes really good. But in terms of like, ah, like one fucking. <laughs> but in terms of like the base, I personally prefer when it's thicker. But it's what is it? Get away from the sun. So what will be interesting is how different this will taste to a dollar pizza. Because this to me, yeah, it tastes like a good pizza, but it didn't taste amazing. It tastes like nice. Like I'm still giving it like a 7, 7.5 out of 10 for a pizza. It didn't taste like it blew my socks off. So I want to see like a dollar pizza. Is that like a 4 or 5? If it tastes the same, I'm going to be vexed. All right, people, we are on the move again. Right now, we're searching for now the entrance for the Highland Parks. So we can kind of walk along there. Then we're probably going to go to the top of the rock. Um, just while it's nice and bright, see like a nice overview of the city. Then zip back to Harlem to get my brother's thing. Then relax for a bit in the hotel, well, the hotel in the little Airbnb type place. And then come back out probably in the evening. Alright, Highland Park done. We're walking probably for about another 10 minutes on this one, then we're gonna go to Top of the Rock. Battery's also dying, people, so if it cuts out, my bad. Once again, people, you opted for Chick fil A. John McGurkins. Hi 
people, we have reached top of the rock. I ain't gonna lie, I'm tired, we've been up so early. But look at this. Jesus. What do you think of the view? <laughs> no words for it. <laughs> Central Park just looks yeah. massive. It's like you really realise, it's like literally just a rectangle. Yeah. Ooh. People, look at the view, they mad. Mad view, people. Look at that. Nuts. Definitely worth coming if you. It only costs, I think, $38 as well, so not too bad, but the view is definitely worth it, trust. Just looks dope. Alright, people, my battery's dying now, so what I'm gonna do is probably end it off here and probably carry on the vlog once I go back, charge and I wanna go eat or something like that. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure you guys saw this view. It's super, super dope. Super love it. I don't even wanna leave, but we paid $40, so I'm soaking up as much as it as possible. Really, took about 50,000 photos. But yeah, man, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright, people, we finally made it to a dollar pizza price. We're in two, two bros pizza. Alright people, last you saw me, we were at two bros having the pizza thing, um, my camera cut out. What I will say is that the $1 slice pizza from two bros, I perfectly find, think that was fine. I don't see the big jump between that and Joe's, Joe's pizza. Like, Joe's pizza was nice, but I don't think it was exceptional. Uh, so, but anyways, what I'm moving on to now is we're ending today's food on a grape drink. Purely because I haven't had one in ages. And also we went to Panda Express. And I just filled like a bowl full of various things. Also, my, my fortune cookie, which I already broke, was quite interesting. It says, you will find success in business and social situations, which in my head is YouTube, so that, or Instagram, or any sort of social media. So that's pretty interesting that I got that as a fortune cookie. I got a full plate for Panda Express. If someone asks me how many calories is this, I have no clue, but all I can say is a lot. First thing, let me try each thing, just so you can taste it. Uh, this is the chow mein. Chow mein tastes nice, however, I think we need extra sauce because we've been traveling now to get back here for like almost an hour, so obviously it's kind of dried out a bit. Uh, all the other things taste good as well. By the way, just to give you a heads up, on a typical day, I only burn around or do around, what, 4,000 steps. Today, because we left out at 6 a.m., and right now we've only just reached in, it's 8 p.m., we've been basically out non stop walking for like 12 hours. My steps are at 33,000 steps. That is ridiculously more than I've ever done, which is why I get so hungry. Which is why in these videos you've seen me eat so many different things because when we're walking around, after about like an extra, I don't know, four or five thousand steps, I get hungry again after eat every single time. Anyway, about the prawns. Prawns is banging. I'm gonna give the prawns a nine. The orange chicken at 8.5. Overall, Panda Express gives a, gets a big thumbs up. This and the halal food that we had today. This and the halal food today is what I would say is the two favorite things I've ate so far. Today anyway, I can't remember what we had yesterday. But yeah, thank you for watching this four day of eating in New York. My Chick-fil-A, my uh, Chick-fil-A today as well. My Chick-fil-A, I don't think I paired to these two. It's a nice, that sandwich is dope. But I'm gonna put that in its own KFC category. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching today's video of the, like, the vlog. It's gonna be super, super long, I know it. Anyways, people, I'm gone. I'm gonna enjoy this meal and literally pass out. I'm not going to the rooftop today because we are shattered. 12 hours of walking, feet down there feel like they're bleeding. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next destination, which I'm yet to tell you guys. Deuces.